what's going on everybody and welcome to this tutorial in which we'll be working on how to remove the background noise in your video file and boost up the audio in your video file with the help of two tools called FFmpeg and Goldwave. Now these two tools will basically help you to extract the audio out of your video file, clean that audio a little bit and insert the audio into the video file again and get a fresh and new and completed video. So to begin with we have this FFmpeg tool which is a command line tool and it's really simple to use so I assume you're using Windows so go to the site ffmpeg.org go to download section and click on this Windows builds the Windows builds and just download this ffmpeg git whatever this is 64 bit static if you're on 64 bit OS and 32 bit static if you're on 32 bit OS alright so once you download that you'll get something like this this one this raw file and inside it you'll get have a folder with some files and I've extracted this ffmpeg right here and what you have to do is just double click on this ffprompt.bat and just minimize it for the while alright so now let's google gold wave now this gold wave is a software which would which is used to extract your audio and basically clean everything so ffmpeg would be used to insert the audio and the video so merge the audio and video files together and gold wave would be used to do rest of the task actually you could do boost your audio with ffmpeg but you can't actually kind of clean it so it's not that much good tool for working with audio stuff so we have got gold wave for that and go to the official site goldwave.com and you should have no problem while downloading this alright now go to this download section and download anything and install it so you'll get an installer file with this and once you download it uh, to launch it I'll just go to my start of Windows 8 and I'll just click on the icon so now it has launched as well and we have got the FFmpeg as well so I'll show you now the video file we need to edit so carefully listen to what I'm saying in this small video file and we'll be boosting up the audio as well as the cleaning up the background noise so listen to it or I'll just launch it in Windows Media Player So you can barely hear me what I was saying in this video all right it's time to boost this a little bit so go to your gold wave here interface click on open and open your video file though it says open sound but it would work perfectly well with your video file so double click on your video file and it will open something like this so we have got this nice little chart of video and if I play this then you can see that uh, this is pretty much same audio which was playing under the video okay so our first task is to boost this audio a little bit so go to effect volume maximize volume and don't modify these settings because 100% is the maximum uh, boost you can give to your audio without actually clipping it so if I play it alright guys this is just a demo video so it looks kinda much good now but we have got some background noise in the background so alright let's play it alright guys this is just a demo video okay so we have got 
background noise, background fuzzing noise. And to fix that, I'll zoom in into this profile a little bit. So click on in, 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 and you can actually see the profile version right here. And I would like to do select all basically. And go to the front and a little bit more in. And let's select a portion of say this one and select the portion which has got some uh, noise only the background noise all right guys this is Ch all right you see that the portion I have selected has got only the background noise in it you see uh, there's no noise of there's not any uh, voice of mine in the background so that uh, the, uh, this gold wave software would know that remove all the instances all the waves of this particular noise in all the video so I'll go to edit I'll go copy this now this copy means that copy this um, basically kind of sound path into your clipboard and now I'll just do out and I'll just select all I'll go to effect filter noise reduction all right and here use clipboard because we have just copied the sample dummy of track which we want to uh, remove so if I check here output noise only then when I will play this then it will just show me what it is going to trim out of the audio all right guys this is just a demo video so you see that inside noise uh, it is all streaming out my voice as well so i'll just reduce it a little bit the scale percentage so that it only excludes the noise and not my voice all right guys this is just a demo video okay much better but still my voice was there all right guys this is just a demo video with no let's see if we go can get much better and just select overlap to 16 times if you want to get best results and maybe 15 would do the job all right let's try to do this okay and let's play this oh I guess I guess I didn't uncheck that box so it basically just use that so we were on 15 16 times all right guys this is just a demo video and sounds much much better all right so we have trimmed all the background noise from that and let's play this again all right guys this is just a demo video with low audio and we'll be boosting up this audio in the tutorial you are seeing right now so that's all for this I'll see you there so now you can clearly hear me what I was saying in that particular video so now you can see without uh, basically degrading the quality of the sound we have boosted the sound and also removed the background noise so the next thing is that we want to save this sound file and would like to merge these two videos together let's save it go to file save and this would pop up just click on ok no need to worry and select wav now one thing i should tell you that um while working with ffmpeg command i'm going to tell you now uh, you should know certain combinations that wmv would go with audio file of wav or mp3 uh, you could also select mp3 and just edit it right here and mp4 would go with mp3 and so on so you can check the description of this video for complete instructions um, while working with these audios so you would know then that in which format you have to save your audio but in most cases mp3 would do the job so save it with let's say audio audio.mp3 in the same folder and let's listen to it we'll see all right guys this is just a demo video with low all right looks good and now it's time for this little bad boy ffmpeg to work 
now currently if you view then we are in the directory of c users may hold desktop ffmpeg and all this but we want to move into this folder so oh i guess i moved the complete directory back so i'll just do cd c users <coughs> mayhol desktop this folder is ffmpeg tutorial and now we are inside this folder all right okay so next thing we need to do is we need to work with something called this line in ffmpeg and this is line you can find in the documentation and what it would do is basically you have to write ffmpeg i now everything followed by a dash stands for a input file and this means that you are gonna give it a input file which ffmpeg has to work with let's say you want to work with dummy with dot wmv right here same name and then i want to work with audio dot mp3 as well now this map is something special and what this map does is it would tell the ffmpeg to map everything in this audio to this video from zero from ratio z uh, from zero and one to one that means complete audio of this video should be replaced by this audio right here if you don't include this map 01 then what it would do is it would kind of overlap the audio or it would insert the audio after the audio of the video so let's type the map once and then we have got codec which would just copy the codecs which are mp3 or wmv or whatever and then we will write copy finally and with the file name let's say new file dot wmv and all you need to do is now is print press enter all right so it did a job and we have got this new file dot wmv right here ready and let's listen to it now all right guys this is just a demo video with low audio and we'll be boosting up this audio in the tutorial you are seeing right now so that's all for this i'll see you there so you can see that how better quality of the sound is now as compared to this original video which had such low audio uh, audio level and background noise as well and you know vlc has got some problems i need to fix that later on so you can see that we not only boosted the audio but also remove any boosted background noise as well so i hope you like this tutorial and that's all for this one and i'll see you then next time don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned